Mein nächster Gast wird in Großbritannien gerade als New Princess of Pop gefeiert, denn sie hat einen raketenhaften Aufstieg hingelegt. Gerade hat sie auch drei Brit Awards gewonnen und heute ist sie hier das erste Mal zu Gast bei Wetten, das. Hier ist Duffy. Hi. Duffy, hi, welcome to the show. You just had your performance on stage. The audience loved it. Thomas Gottschalk loved it. How was it for you? It was amazing. Uh, I feel very honored because I hear that this show is the biggest audience number in the whole of Europe. Yeah. Whatever that means, but uh, yeah, Very it's, successful. it's amazing. Thomas was really nice to me. Yeah, cool. Well, Daffy, first of all, da -da -da -da, congratulations because uh, you have been honored with three Brit Awards last week. This is great. Um, it was in the category Best British Female Solo Artist, Best British Breakthrough Act, and Best British Album for Rock Fairy. Wow. I think this was a perfect evening for you. Yes, it was quite overwhelming. I feel, in hindsight, that I am very lucky. Um, to be embraced at home. It's yeah. really important for me. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, I saw a picture of that evening. I can show you. Uh. Like, Whoa! Yeah, and it uh, for me it was a little bit funny because it was like, oh, look at that three Brit Awards, but just two hands. Uh, <laughs> you had been nominated in several categories, so I think you should have taken a handbag with you or something I like know. that. A trolley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's very cool, very successful. Yeah, I'm Thank really uh, happy for you. So some weeks ago, you already got a Grammy for Rock Fairy. So where do you keep all these trophies? Do you have a I don't know a special board at home? I like the way you call them trophies. That's amazing. Yeah. I, I don't know if I will keep my trophies at home, but uh, I, I do feel very proud to, to have them. Yeah. Um, maybe I will, I don't know, give them to my mother to really? keep hold of. I don't know. Okay. Your mom or your friends. Yes. So they can be happy for you all yeah. day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> cool. Um, so let's talk about the song you performed here uh, on stage. Um, it uh, was Rain on Your Parade, your current singer. I think it's a very cool song with a very strong message. So what was the inspiration for you to write this song? Uh, I don't really know where my songs originate from. That's the idea. But I think it's a song about learning to say no. Learning to say no and uh, taking control of your life. Oh, that sounds good. Yes. Well, and the song is taken from the deluxe edition of Rock Fairy, which features seven new tracks, uh, including a cover version of Please Stay. And this song has been interpreted by many artists before, like Elvis Costello or the Bay City Rollers. Um, so why was it attractive for you to do your own version of the song? Well, I actually got offered the song for the film, uh, Telstar, which was about the life of Joe Meek. And this song was particularly close to Joe Meek's heart. And apparently there's only one remaining member of the Joe Meek family yeah. and she was really touched by my version. So I think I would like to send a message out to Joe Meek's family that it was probably one of my favorite recordings so far, I think. There was something special about it. Uh -huh. And yeah, I love being able to record songs that already exist but are slightly obscure. Yeah. Being able to reinvent them uh -huh. is always a pleasure. And there are seven new tracks um, uh, for your fans on the album. Is this perhaps a foretaste of a completely new album? Are you writing new songs at the moment? I don't think I ever stopped writing songs. I think it's just a continuation. Yeah. Uh, I don't really feel as though I'm beginning a new record. Yeah. I just suppose I'm beginning a new chapter in my life. So when I feel as though that chapter is described well in music, I will release the next records. Well, and you did another cover version of a great song for the benefit of the charity organization War Child, and it has to do with Paul McCartney. Um, he was asked to name a member of the current music generation uh, to cover his song Live and Let Die, and whom did he choose? You. Um, so, how did you react when you were told that this music legend wanted you to sing one of his songs? It was during quite a busy time in my journey this year so I didn't really get excuse me <clears throat> it was during a very <laughs> I'll start again it was during a very busy time in my life that I got the news and sometimes I don't feel as though I'm able to truly appreciate the magnificent things that I have been able to receive I feel very grateful but when it's when you're doing things so quickly it's hard to take stock But I do feel as though that was particularly special with Paul McCartney and the Beatles and British music. And of course a lot of people ask me about the War Child as a charity. Mm. 
but I have to admit that I'm not directly associated with it. It's Paul McCartney's charity that he's linked with and he asked me to do the song. So I believe that if it's for a good cause and he wanted me to do the song, I, I think it was a, a wonderful, lovely treat yeah. for me to do. And uh, Paul McCartney's comment about your interpretation was, Duffy's version of Live and Let Die is great. I was really impressed. Wow. Have you ever th had the chance to meet him personally? Quite a few times, actually. Yeah. Uh, we keep bumping into each other, which is quite ironic, because I don't know what the chances are of <laughs> bumping into Paul McCartney, but I seem to be doing it. And uh, he was very complimentary. Because, you know, the song in itself was quite a busy arrangement. Yeah. And I did it as a challenge. I wanted to strip it back. And there's actually quite an amazing sentiment there about letting things go. Uh, about being free when you're young. And as you get older, you get a bit jaded. Mm. You know, so it's about, it's about remembering how you used to be, I suppose. Yeah. You know, there's a line in the song, when you were young and your heart was an open book. Yeah. You know, and it's yeah. got this beautiful sentiment. So when I met him and he said that he really enjoyed the arrangement, I was quite surprised with what I'd done with it. I thought that was quite cool because you need to, you know, the sonics that surround a song is just the science. Mm -hmm. The sentiment is what remains, and I really wanted to do that. So, yeah, I feel I feel quite good about it. Cool. Well, and in a few weeks you're going to tour Asia and Australia. Um, how do you prepare for uh, these concerts? Do concerts in Australia differ from concerts in Asia? Uh, how do you prepare? You probably take more sun cream than you would if you were visiting somewhere colder. Uh, It's going to be a wild time because we're going through many countries. Mm. Japan, Singapore, Australia, New Zealand, I think, over a month. What about Korea? Korea. <laughs> we're doing Korea. Hong Kong. Whoa. So we've got a lot going on. So I just have to pack my bag yeah. with an array of different things. Uh, bikinis and swimsuits. Uh, I and uh, I don't think you really can prepare. You just have to mm. go with it. Just go and do it. Yeah, have fun. Yeah. But when will you be back in Germany again? 2010. I'll be back in Germany. Oh, that's a really long time. It'll fly. <laughs> I know you'll miss me and it'll be really hard, but, you know, time will pass. Okay, so we're really looking forward to that. I hope to see you soon and I wish you all the best for your tour. Thank, Thank you so you much. much. Duffy. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you.